Hello friends, I am Payal, your own study abroad expert. So today on the request of few students, we are going to talk about how to make a perfect LOR. Now LOR kya hota hai? Letter of Recommendations. So if you are applying for any job or for any academic program, then LOR is very important. So what exactly is a letter of recommendation? It is a letter which is provided by someone who knows you very well and who can really talk about uh, your suitability for that particular program. They talk about your achievements, your contribution and uh, your skill set whether you are suitable for that particular job or for that particular educational program or not. So as we know that uh, we need at least one LOR, but for any university in USA, it's often recommended and sometimes it's you know mandatory also that we should provide three, you know, a letter of recommendations for any university. Now do not confuse LOR with a reference letter. What is a reference letter? A reference letter is a one which talks about uh, your character or about you as a person and a letter of recommendation mainly talks about your academic achievements and uh, you know about your skill set etc. So there are two kinds of LOR one is that which you need while you're applying for a job and the other is if, when you are you know, applying for an educational program. Now let's talk about some important points that we should include in a letter of recommendation. Number one, it should briefly explain the relationship of the recommender with you that, you know, whether he's been a faculty, a colleague, an advisor, a mentor, etc. So number second, you know, it should put an emphasis on the relationship of the recommender with you, whether it's an, you know, direct relationship or an indirect relationship. Suppose you work with your recommender, you know, directly, you know, probably you've, uh, you've like, you know, done some workshop with them or you, you have studied under them. It's a direct relationship. Now, what is an indirect relationship? Suppose the recommender says that I have seen Mr. X working in a group which was headed by Mr. Y. So this is an indirect relationship. You haven't worked under that. Very important point that you should uh, note in your, uh, you know, recommendation letter where the recommender should clearly give what is the relationship whether it is direct or indirect. So your letter of recommendation should not uh, mention your grades, your percentage etc because that's already mentioned in the application. The next point is that your letter of recommendation should give an accurate assessment of your you know suitability for that profile. For example, um, the recommender should clearly mention that whether you were in the top 1% of the students or uh, you know how you fared in the class you know in relative to other you know students with you know for that particular course so there should be an accurate assessment of your performance and suitability for a particular program. The next important point is that the letter of recommendation should not include any private or sensitive information which is not really needed. So, I mean, unless and until it does not uh, relate to your academic, uh, you know, qualifications or achievements, you need not mention that in LOR. The next important thing is that the LOR should promote, you know, good character. It should depict uh, your leadership qualities, your dedication and focus towards the program that you're applying for. And uh, then it's very important that while you are giving information about yourself, about your achievements, you should talk about... Uh, your achievements in the past which uh, would you know which are related to the program that you're applying you know about the experiences that you've had and the contribution that you can make so last but not the least your LOR should mention um, your unique qualities and contribution that you could make um, you know in the university what kind of changes you can make what impact you can bring and uh, any kind of new learning that you could have and how um, you would probably you know contribute towards uh, you know you know making an impact in the university that you go to so these are the points that you should be careful about when you write an LOR all these points should be you know clearly given and do not give irrelevant information at all so I hope all these tips are useful and you would be you're very careful while you're writing your LOR 
and uh, you'll definitely you know take care of all these points and that would help you to get a perfect LOR. So if you haven't subscribed to us till now, do not forget, subscribe to us right now. If you want us to make video on any topic, do not hesitate. Feel free to drop it in the you know, comment section and we will, we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, like and share this video with everyone and subscribe to us now. Thank you.